Hi folks, I'm Ed. Well, uh, warm welcome back to Backroad Hero. Uh, this is a short video um, about uh, if you do nothing else uh, to your Alpha Julia, um, you should do uh, you should do this one modification. More of that in a little bit later. Sorry for the teaser, but they all seem to do that. Anyway, um, thanks to everyone so far that's watched um, the uh, progress or the review uh, on the Quadrifolio so far. Um, left lots of comments, I'm now pronouncing it correctly. This is the Italian word to say four leaf clover. How do you go about pronouncing it? Quadrifoglio. 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 <laughs> Quadrifoglio. Uh, with, a, with a silent G. Um, I suppose a Quadrifoglio is the, uh, the hard G. Anyway. Um, I'll be corrected, no doubt, uh, going on in the future. I have thick skin. Uh, so please carry on. Let me know what you want to see. Plenty planned for this. People wanted to see me driving more. Um, it, never, it, it, ne it never gets old. get out and do that. Um, I've also got a theoretical study in turning one of these things into a uh, GTA M, maybe even faster than one. So if you haven't done already, please subscribe, uh, notify to the channel. Um, it does make a big difference. It doesn't cost anything. And just to let you know that uh, Backroad Hero is, uh, there's too much uh, drivel out there on YouTube. I'm hoping to make videos with a bit more substance. Um, actually genuine reviews with people who uh, know what they're talking about and uh, know about the cars whether it be my own vehicles or whether they be uh, others uh, friends and family um, likewise uh, long-term ownership things to look for uh, and all the rest of it genuinely help someone if they're thinking of purchasing um, one of these things um, it, it really does make a difference it's hard to, uh, really really difficult when I was thinking of buying this to get some really hard facts um, about uh, ownership so if you haven't uh, watched it already uh, there's a full review 38 minutes or thereabouts um, on buying uh, the Julia Quadrifoglio. Uh, this video is all about um, the one modification that you should really do to these things. Uh, they come on uh, Pirelli Corsa tyres uh, whilst they're fantastic when warmed up in the dry uh, they perform um, at a lesser extent uh, in the wet, in the cold. Um, so a popular modification is to swap out uh, the uh, Pirelli courses from Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Don't get confused between a Michelin Pilot Sport 4 and a 4S. They're a different tyre, a different compound. Um, and also we'll be upping the size very slightly. So this is more uh, to see whether the tires actually fit on the car without adding um, any spacers etc etc um, so continue on watching this um, thanks very much again uh, for all, all your comments and all your likes um, it gives me the confidence to uh, go on and make some more content so as i said i've got a couple of videos planned uh, more on the uh, julia i've got other things uh, maserati 3200 gt uh, we have got uh, an alpha uh, buso spider uh, MR2, uh, Beetle, uh, Mini Coopers, uh, Lamborghini, um, what else have we got? 911 Supersport, we'll revisit that, one of my uh, old cars that I sold recently. Um, so there's, there's plenty, of, uh, plenty of content to come. Um, thanks for sticking by, um, we'll, uh, we'll get on to the, uh, the content of this. So if you're going to do one modification um, on your quadrifolio, this is it. Now look at that, is it not a beautiful sight? Um, some, some absolute monster rubber. Look at that. Um, 295-3019s for the rear. Uh, 255-35s for the front. Um, they're 10 mil wider than the, uh, the standard fit. Only because um, the, uh, the standard specification 245-285 um, combo, whilst it is made, uh, the Michelin Pilots uh, Sport 4S's, um, it's not just as readily available. Um, so going up 10mm, 
uh, shouldn't really give us uh, too much in the uh, way of uh, clearance issues. Um, I've got um, the uh, Pirelli Soto Zeros fitted here at the moment. Um, they are a dedicated winter tyre. Um, you can probably see it's not winter, uh, but I've been getting the last little um, bit out. He's not the Messiah, he's a very naughty boy! So I've been a bit of a naughty boy really. You can see there's plenty of um, tread left um, on the outsides, but these things run quite a lot of uh, negative camber. If you look just on the inside, it's making making a mess of the inside edge. So definitely time for um, a tire change. Um, hopefully I get the tracking done at the same time just to make sure it's not out. I'm pretty sure it's a camber issue. Um, I don't think um, it's anything to do with the tracking, but it's worth checking as well. Anytime that you fit some new tires uh, that you're tracking is straight to get maximum uh, wear out of it. And again, uh, at the rear, you probably can't really see it unless I can get down in. Um, the insides um, of the rear tires are the same. So I would have thought it's kind of negative camber, um, more the issue there. I mean, there is an element of rear tracking uh, that we can, uh, we can check as well. But until we put the gauges on, we'll not know. Car's going down to Mike Jacobs. Uh, I don't know where you've seen him if you've followed my um, my racing channel um, e46 racer then you'll have met mike before um runs a company called uh, automotive extras and he um, he also uh, races a little uh, mazda low cost uh with a 750 motor club so he knows his stuff uh, mike's going to fit these tomorrow i'm going to see if there's any clearance issues going up 10 mil and I'm kind of hoping that the speeder will now read correctly. Instead of over reading by three miles an hour, I'm kind of hoping that uh, it'll go back to reading um, what it should. So 70 indicated is 70 miles an hour GPS. Um, that is the plan. Um, Michelin know a thing or two about uh, tires. And of course the GTAM is uh, not fitted with Pilot Sport 4S. Uh, they're fitted with Michelin uh, Pilot Sport Cup 2s, which are... Uh, much more track focused tyre. Of course this is a daily driver, I want to get some sort of mileage out of these tyres as well but what I'm more interested in is kind of cold weather and wet grip uh, when things start to turn a bit wet. Um, so more a little later on uh, we'll, we'll see um, if uh, my plan comes to uh, fruition and whether we can do it without any clearance issues so um, I'm doing the hard work so you don't have to. So there we go, tires are on. Uh, most difficult part about it all was uh, getting onto the ramp apparently. Uh, the uh, the under tray, it's a flat bottom. So they uh, struggled even to get a jack underneath it as well. They ended up using the MOT ramp. But uh, there we go, the tires are on. Uh, fronts are fine. Uh, rears a little bit more, a um, little bit more noticeable probably than the, than the fronts. But they fit nicely on the rim, as you'd expect. I did check that this, these uh, these rims would take the tyres as well comfortably. Um, and whilst there's no tyre pressure monitor setting in the car, um, a quick trip down the road uh, apparently has reset all the pressures. And if you're wondering where your pressures are for the car, <laughs> where would you put them? Oh yes, let's put them inside the petrol flap. Oh, pardon the snow foam. But there you go, got these, it's a Pilot Sport 4S's, I've taken it easy for the first couple of miles just because, um, well, you always get a releaser out of the moulds first few miles and I have set of tyres just to scrub them in maybe a little bit as well, the safest course of action. Um, but first impressions are very, very good, um, they're really quiet, uh, more so than the Pirelli. Um, the Soto Zeros, the winter tires, but then I suppose there's lots of uh, tread blocks on those and um, you know you're going to get lots of movement and, and noise but you know what right now it's comfy I've got it in actually in dynamic mode with the uh, with the hard suspension on so if I put it into the soft suspension you know what <laughs> as a daily driver this is yeah. Hard to be.
you, these tyres are very, very quiet. I, I do like that. I like that a lot. As they say in Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I like that a lot. Right. So, time to test. Time to test. Time to test. 60 indicated is showing 58 GPS. So, there's still a couple of couple of miles an hour of a margin on this one. On the safe side of course, but it would have been even worse uh, with the other tyres. So the, it's maybe changed by one mile per hour, it seems. This is a blatant attempt to get you to subscribe uh, and uh, notify. Um, you may see uh, a little car behind us, uh, 1933 uh, Morris 104, uh, called Poodle. Uh, definition of Poodle is to uh, wander slowly in a relaxed manner. That's exactly uh, is exactly what she does. Um, it's 88 years old um, and uh, we go from one of the, the newest in our small collection uh, to the oldest. Uh, the reason I'm making this is really um, if you subscribe and uh, hit the little bell to notify. Uh, the next video coming out will be all about Poodle and then we'll move on to uh, some others in the uh, collection as well, as well as friends cars and uh, other resources and uh, plans that we have. Um, we've got a 120,000 mile uh, Lamborghini Gallardo that is uh, used as a uh, daily driver. That's a friend of mine owns that. Uh, we've got a uh, 3200 GT Maserati uh, with the boomerang tail lights. So we'll do a, a feature on that as well. Uh, we've got classic minis. Uh, we've got uh, 60s Beetle. Um, as well as uh, a Busso Spider, an Alfa Romeo Busso Spider to uh, review as well. So all of those things coming in the future. Uh, if you subscribe and if you hit the little bell to notify, you will get a little notification uh, in your inbox on YouTube. Uh, when the new video comes out, um, other channels put out daily uh, updates. Uh, some do it weekly uh, for the beginning. Uh, this will be a bit more ad hoc, so it really, if you want to, uh, if you want to get in there, uh, see the latest uh, video uh, once it comes out, then please do that. Uh, it makes a massive difference in the early days um, of the channel. Uh, once I get a hundred subscribers, I can choose a what they call a unique URL for the channel. Uh, rather than some gobbledygook of random numbers that YouTube generated. So that's the first stepping stone. Um, we've only got, uh, we've got less than 10 subscribers at the moment, but plenty of views um, on the Alpha piece that we did on the Alpha Julia uh, Quadrifoglio, as they, uh, as I was reminded it's uh, pronounced, uh, Quadrifoglio with a silent G and uh, and not uh, with the hard G quadrifoglio. So, hey, maybe it's the Irishman in me anyway. So I'll leave you with a few shots, a little bit of a montage um, of Poodle. And, uh, well, 
thanks very much for sticking by. Uh, thanks for all the comments um, already uh, that I've been receiving. That gives me the encouragement then to move um, ahead uh, with making a few more of these uh, videos. I'm having fun doing it, but unless anybody watches them, um, there's very little point. So uh, thanks very much again. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit the notify bell, and you'll find out next video will be uh, on uh, Poodle 1933 Morris 10 pre-series. Thanks again. Bye now.